I have been studying Marty Friedman's guitar playing for a long, long, long time. Mainly just because he's one of my favorite guitar players, if not my favorite guitar player to ever exist. And out of all the hours that I've spent studying his stuff, I finally figured out one thing that he does fairly consistently that will allow you to start incorporating some Marty Friedman-esque sounds into your playing. For this lesson, we're gonna use two songs as examples. One is White Worm, and the other one is one of his most recent singles called Makinai Day. Let's go over to the guitar cam and we're gonna check those out. Let's start out by looking at the riff from White Worm. Check it out. So that's example one. And now for example two, we're gonna use the solo section from the heavy breakdown in Makinai Day. And that goes like this. I would keep going, but I'm definitely gonna mess it up because it's an insane run. But that's all we need to look at. In both of these, he does an arpeggio shape that is identical. I've even seen him do this as long ago as his like 90s lesson videos that he did. That arpeggio that he's playing looks like this. Check it out. Now Morty is a very stylistic guitar player. He's like, he's so vocal with his playing. Now to say that this would make you sound exactly like Marty Friedman would be a lie, but you could easily incorporate this in to get some of the tastefulness that Marty gets in his arpeggio playing. And if you use the little connecting notes that he uses in Makinai Day, you can use them to create some really interesting lines and kind of think outside the box. In any case, our arpeggio is a root third and a fifth, right? Just like our chords. And that extra note that we're adding in is the two or the nine. And since there's no seventh in this, we can't really call it a ninth arpeggio. So it becomes an add nine. And that looks like this. We have the root, which is an A. We have the two, also known as the nine. We have the minor third. And we have the perfect fifth. And then from there, we repeat. We have an A. And there's our add nine. Minor third, perfect fifth. Now what I just did there was a little trick from Makinai Day that he does, and I think that's really cool. I'm gonna play the Makinai Day riff, and I'm gonna show you how he uses those half steps to walk out of it into whatever chord he's playing next. Watch this. Nice and slow. That riff right there is just this. You can add this next to the minor add nine arpeggio to walk in and out of other ideas. So not only do you get the arpeggio, but you get the way that Marty would transition to another chord, which is really cool. Check it out. Being that this is an A minor arpeggio at its core, I'm sure you're sitting there saying to yourself, oh, I could just use this in anything A minor. And you totally can. Also, being that A minor is the fourth chord in E minor, that allows you to use this over E minor really well too. So now if you transpose this up to E minor, you could transpose this and you could play the, the fingering at the seventh fret, but you could also play it up at the, uh, was that the 19th fret? Is that what it is? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, the 19th fret. So altogether, the spots that you could play this in are like this. <laughs> A 
along with some of those like half step little bends that Marty does and blending it in with your minor pentatonic and trying to find notes that are a little bit outside of that. Be sure to blend this in with what you're already doing and kind of find where it sits like in relation to your minor pentatonic because that'll really help you that if you start kind of falling out of it, you'll know where to get back into it, if that makes any sense.